We all know that Game of Thrones Season 8 is almost upon us, which means it is your last year to throw crazy awesome Game of Thrones viewing parties. Most of those parties will probably need booze, obviously, lots and lots of booze, but since all I really know how to make is a bargain brand margarita, we came to Everbar in Hollywood to take a look at their Game of Thrones themed menu, which is so, so, so cool. We are gonna try out their Lannister drink, their Stark drink, and their Targaryen drink. Let's get drinking. Winter is coming. Our cocktail in tribute to House Stark is blackened whiskey at the base. Really bold, strong whiskey with a lot of character and a, and a lot of depth. We thought that was perfect for the Stark family. Father's watching, and your mother. And then in addition to that, we have Burnett Branca, a little bit of honey and cream. So it's kind of a mashup between like a whiskey white Russian and a whiskey julep. The idea was for it to be really cold on the palate, similar to the climate in the north. I even know a little snow goes, goes on yeah, top of the drink. Yeah, we, we top it with snow, powdered sugar, and then weirwood leaves to pay homage to the holy tree in Winterfell that they pray at. And why did the uh, Stark uh, family appeal to you as when you were picking which drink you were going to make? Even though they're terrible at the game, they're my favorite family in the show. I enjoy rooting for them begrudgingly, yeah. The man who passes the sentence should swing the sword. How Stark drink, here we go. That is sweet like Sansa Stark, but a little bit bitter on the inside like Jon Snow. I like what you did there. I feel like it's kind of like if I breathe out, I'm gonna be breathing like the snow, like when you see your breath in the winter. Perfect, that's <laughs> exactly what we were going for. Have you ever heard the phrase, rich as a Lannister? So what goes to the House Lannister is Absolute Elix, which is a vodka that is made with a completely copper still. A little spice pear liqueur, lemon, a little sugar, with a float of red wine. The whole thing about this cocktail is that it's kind of really deceptive like the Lannisters are. Looks like, oh, so friendly and like cool, but then they really will just like creep up on you. Okay, okay. <laughs> I love the uh, gold flex on top. What made you pick House Lannister? The royalty, I mean, I mean, they are rich. My father's probably the most powerful man in the country, certainly the richest. Let's do this. That is strong enough for Tyrion Lannister. I feel like you can like, kind of almost taste the incest. Yeah, you can taste the incest, <laughs> the, the backstabbing, um, all that. We obviously didn't communicate clearly. We're here to discuss your surrender, not mine. This is Daenerys' drinks. This one's all fire and smoke. We really wanted to represent her personality, but also the region that she's in. She is our furthest south. Really wanted to get the terroir. It's dirty, it's gritty, it's hot. It's a little bit spice on it, so we wanted to use a myelin mezcal, but then kind of keeping it fresh too, so we're using dragon fruit, of course. And then we're gonna, we kind of made a cute dragon tail as a garnish, and we're gonna light that on fire, so really just nice. bring the whole thing to life. It sounds like it's got the Daenerys' sweet side, but also a little bit of her bite. Yeah, yeah, it, we're trying to just get all of her. It's feisty, engaging, and welcoming, and it's really, really tasty. Why did you choose House Targaryen? Who doesn't want to be Danny? Who doesn't want to be the, the mother of dragons? She's inspiring. I will take what is mine. With fire and blood, I will take it. Mm, I taste that spiciness right away. What is that? It's the fire water bitters that we're doing. Yeah. And you're going to get some spice from the mezcal as well. There's yeah, fire in my mouth yeah, right now. Yep. That's that. the whole idea. And the dragon fruit kind of mellows it out. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Well, now you have three delicious drinks to serve at your Game of Thrones Season 8 viewing parties. But if you, like me, were a little too tipsy during the ingredient section of this video to soak it all in, we have all the recipes down in the description below, including a Greyjoy drink, which sounds delicious, and a Night King drink, which sounds a little bit terrifying. No, we don't have the descriptions. We have the recipes. If you, like me, were a little too tipsy during the uh, ingredients, whatever. I'm going to go sleep this off, but if you guys want to send me your favorite 